Melon is sponsoring me to teach you how to add tickers and banners to their live streaming app. It's so easy to use. You don't need all this equipment I have in my home studio here. You can do this using a, just a web browser. And hopefully, maybe you have a two monitor configuration. You don't have to have two monitors, but two monitors helps. You ready? You can add text, banners, and tickers. How do you do it? By going right over here on the side. You're going to see the menu button up here on the top right hand corner. Click that. Then you're going to scroll down to the text section. Click it. Here you're going to see two options. You're going to see banner and ticker. You're going to need to add a new element by clicking new. Here you can type in any caption that you want and this caption will be displayed on the screen in your recording or your live stream. I recommend doing all caps, but you can add whatever you want for your style. So I'm just going to add, I'm just going to say try melon today uh, in parentheses link below. You can add whatever you want here and I'll show you how it looks and how it feels on your broadcast. Then once you're done typing in your text, 100 character limit, hit add. It'll then add that element by clicking show here under the element on the side and boom, it'll show it on the screen. Boom, there it is. So why is mine purple? See, mine is purple because that's the color of my branding that I set earlier. Got it? So. Once again, if you didn't watch my previous tutorial video, if you want to change the colors of your branding and your theme, you need to go in the design section and you need to follow these steps. You go to edit current theme right here, and then you can change the color of your branding, primary and secondary color. You choose the color of your fonts and all of that stuff right here under the design section if you want those elements to look a very specific way. Got it? That's why mine's purple and yours probably isn't. So customize it, make it on brand for you. Why not use that feature? It could just comes with Melon for free. Got it? So what you can do if you want to update this content is you just double click and then what you can do is click the edit button right over here, the little pen button, and you can change the text to be whatever you want. Click update when you're done changing the text. Whenever you want the banner to go away, you click the hide button right over here on the side and it makes the element go away. I do not recommend displaying text on the screen for extended periods of time. Nobody likes looking at a big text bar. Whenever you're done using that element and you're never going to use it again, click the garbage can button right here and it deletes it from the library of potential text banners that can show up. Got it? Cool. Next item is your ticker. So what is a ticker? It's going to be literally scrolling on the screen showing a particular text information for an extended period of time. So what you're gonna do here, you have 200 characters, double the characters with this versus your banner. Click add, and then it's going to add the element here in your sidebar. You're then going to need to click show if you want it to show up on the screen, and there it is. It just shows up right at the top of the screen and scrolls that information over and over and over again. Once again, I do not recommend leaving this text on the screen for your entire broadcast. That is bad. I recommend only putting it up there while you're talking about whatever it says and then make it go away by clicking hide down here when you're not showing it. One other power tip here, I'm going to add a banner once again, uh, is with the banner, you do have the ability to move it around as you see fit, uh, and so you can put it wherever you want. Obviously, slide it into a place that's comfortable. Most people feel most comfortable with a banner or any sort of larger text like this being in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, that's where lower thirds are usually located. So I'd recommend putting them in the bottom left-hand corner, let's say right about here, and it feels comfortable to have it down there. It'll probably be below the faces of your hosts. Just a power tip there in terms of displaying text on your broadcasts. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to sign up for Melon using my link below. Adios amigos.